Hello everyone, this is Teacher Bali, and for today's video, we will talk about the origin of the universe, kung saan siya nagmula, or paano siya nagsimula. We will talk about the formation of the solar system, and definitely learn more about our Earth. It is very difficult to understand the formation of the early universe, because there's no human who has witnessed it. The science of cosmology provides various hypotheses that explain the origin of the universe based on its present properties or characteristics. It should likewise be noted that advances in scientific tools or instruments continuously help us validate the theories on the origin of the universe. One theory that explains the formation of the universe is what we call the creationist theory. Under the creationist theory, it is believed that the supreme being as God created the whole universe out of nothing. We can we can make or we can we can read the proof in the Holy Bible stipulating that God created the heavens and the earth including man. One of the prevailing theories about the origin or the formation of the, the universe is what we call the Big Bang Theory. It is believed that the universe began about 10 to 15 years ago when a primordial explosion called the Big Bang occurred. It is believed that the first three minutes of the explosion, great quantities of hydrogen and helium were created that were spanning apart at great speed. At about 3 million years, huge clouds stretching 500 million light years began to condense and this condensation formed the galaxy. The galaxy is the birthplace of the stars and other elements that are heavier than hydrogen and helium. The universe today is the remnant of the Big Bang. The Big Bang marked the birth of the universe, all matter and space were created instantaneously. According to, to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was once a small singularity that is condensed or all the elements were compressed in one singularity. And because of this compression, temperature rises up that causes the singularity to, to, to expand and definitely later on explode at a higher or at a greater speed. The Big Bang model also asserts that second after the explosion, the surrounding were at a very high temperature at about 10 billion degrees Fahrenheit or that is 5.5 degrees Celsius. It, it contains fundamental particles such as electrons, neutrons, and also protons. As the universe cooled down, the particles either combined or decayed. The universe was said to continue to expand over the next 13 billion years until the present and will continue to expand up to the foreseeable future. In 1930, an American astronomer Edwin P. Hubble showed that the universe is expanding. The space formed by the Big Bang was filled by intense, extremely energetic, high-frequency radiation called the primeval fireball. Radiation from the dying embers of the primeval fireball now permits all of space in the form of microwaves, which continuously stretch out more and more as the universe expands. Another theory that states the origin of the universe is what we call the steady state theory. Under this theory, it is believed that the universe has always been the same since the beginning and will remain and will remain in its present state until eternity. So pinaniniwalaan sa steady state theory na in the beginning the universe is the same up to now. So, walang nangyaring pagbabago. As it is, we have already the galaxy, the stars, the planets. And it is also believed that under the steady state theory, present state 
of of the universe will remain until eternity it further claims that new galaxies appear as a result of the drifting apart of other galaxies in addition to this the steady state theory states that the universe is always expanding in a constant average density because of this state matter is continuously created to form cosmic or celestial bodies such as the stars the galaxies and the, and the older bodies that were formed are no longer easily observable as a consequence of their huge distance and rates of recession this theory further claims that the universe has neither beginning nor end in time and even though it is expanding its appearance remained the same as it is observed over time. The steady state theory was first proposed by Sir James Jeans in 1920. It gained its popularity after it was revised by Fred Hoyle, Herman Bondi, and Thomas Gold in alternative to the Big Bang Theory. However, towards the the 1960s more evidence was produced that would contradict the steadiness or the unchanging state of the universe when certain galactic bodies were, were found only at far distances in space it just disproved the idea that similar bodies are created and found everywhere this implies that the universe is actually evolving and not steady Another famous theory about the origin of the universe is the cosmic inflation theory. This theory was proposed by a physician Alan Guth and Andre Lind in the 1980s. The term inflation refers to the rapid expansion of space-time. According and according to this theory, the early universe was a rapidly expanding bubble of pure vacuum energy so it is a good example that the universe is a, a bubble that is rapidly expanding however it is believed that the universe is infinite and has no edges after the expansion and the cooling that arise from its inflation the potential energy converted into the kinetic energy of matter and radiation. Then, a big bang occurred because the extreme hot and dense condition of the mat of matter. The fundamental difference between the big bang and an ordinary explosion is that the big bang there was no space for the explosion to go into. Space itself is exploding. The universe does not exist in space or in time. Rather, both space and time exist within the universe. Without the universe, there would be no space and time. Because of the formulation of the galaxies, the solar system where we belong was created. In the year 1796, Marquis de Laplace a French astronomer proposed the nebular hypothesis. The nebular hypothesis states that the solar system evolved from a slowing rotating gaseous cloud. If you can still remember during our discussion about the Big Bang Theory, during the, the condensation of the clouds, it forms the galaxy. And one of the one of the galaxy, one of the galaxy is where our solar system belongs. According to the nebular hypothesis, our solar system evolved from a slowly rotating gaseous cloud. As it cooled down or as it cooled by radiation and contracted, it rotated faster and faster, causing the gas to take a disc-like form. Kaya kung mapapansin natin ang mga galaxies, they, are, they look like a, a revolving celestial bodies at a certain speed the gravitational attraction could no longer hold the outer material to the central mass and it broke into a ring this material condenses and 
form our planet or form the planets. The process continued and forming planets at various distances from the sun. The moons around the planets were formed by the same process. So there you have it, our lesson about the origin of the universe, the solar system. If you have questions, comments, and suggestions, please don't forget to leave them down below. Also, please do not forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and be notified for our new upcoming videos. Again, this is Teacher Bali saying COVID-19 shall not hinder our learning. Thank you for watching and have a good day.